Now that you know this general information, general requirements that you might need, what are the steps for applying in this online website of the USTJLSS? First, as mentioned earlier, you will need a working email and a recent mobile number. You will have to register in their website this link that I have provided and then of course you will use the email address and a verification will be sent to you. So check nyo lang yung email nyo guys, my verification code and then you make sure to fill out the verification code and that's it. Step 1 done, you have already created an account. Step 2, there is a link provided wherein you need to answer some eligibility questions. I mean to say, this is for the USD to know that you are actually qualified to become their scholar for this type of scholarship. So of course, if you are not eligible to apply for JLSS, you will receive a notice of disqualification in your email. Well, most probably, if you know to yourself, them students themselves, hindi sila, meron silang ethics dun sa mga uh, qualification parts they, of course, would not attempt to apply. But, I think it's just for assurance now on the part of the OST. But, most probably, if you yourself apply, you know to yourself that qualifications mentioned are applicable to you. So, don't worry about this. But, for step 3, now that you are eligible to apply for the JLSS, you can proceed to the next modules. Mean to say, this is the part where you go back to the website of the DOST and continue mo lang yung mga informations na need nila. Like the following documents that you need to upload, your personal data, your contact information, and so on and so forth. So those are the things that you need. And hindi naman siya complicated because the website is very comprehensive and in step-wise manner. We're in step-by-step -step talaga, guided talaga yung students on using their website. And of course, if you have been successfully uploading and filling out those informations, the fourth step would be for you to choose your test center location. So lucky for me, my test center was the same school that I have attended here in Cebu. But I have a concern because I'm not from Cebu, but my school or university is in Cebu. If that's your question, well then that's not a problem because you can just choose your location of test center. And automatically, if your school is on a different location than your permanent address, then that's not a problem. Just choose the test center that, that is most applicable on your situation. Five is to make sure that you have accomplished everything. You can actually recheck all the information and the documents that you have uploaded and you can click that submit button. And by now, you already have completed your registration and application for the DOSC JLSS scholarship. So what now that you have registered and applied for the scholarship? Of course, the next thing that you can do is to wait for permit, the dates, and so on. Actually, it's in the form of email wherein the test permit is given to you in that email and attached with it are the following informations about the exam date, the location specifically, and your room or such. So it's important that you check your email always and to see for the updates kung saan ba yung test location center nyo, kung kailan, and so on. And of course, if by that time you have already your test permit and things like that, you have to prepare your pencil, prepare your water, prepare snacks, make sure to be prepared for that day and you already know your location because of course you want to be early when taking this on your exam date. You have to know kung saan ba talaga yung room nyo, kung saan ba yung ganito para hindi ka na mawala or hindi ka malate because late sometimes can disqualify you lalo na if malaki-laki na yung time to take the examination. So, don't let that happen and be prepared. So, if you want to know more of my experiences on how to prepare for this exam or how I prepared personally for this exam, make sure to comment down below if kailangan nyo yun or hindi na. But, my last tip for you guys is to make sure to follow all their pages. Follow the DOST page, follow the DOST scholarship page, you follow them, and of course, download Reddit and be part of the DOST Reddit community. That's important because scholar, scholars, top of scholars sharing their information and such. And like always, if you have a question about the OST JLS scholarship, which I am a scholar of the OST JLS, make sure to comment down below if you have any questions and I'll try my best to answer them. And that's it. Thank you for watching.
good luck on your exam. And if you're still watching at the end of this video, make sure you're still watching at the end of this video and you're still unsure whether you want to apply or you don't want to apply. Maybe you're hesitant to apply because you're thinking that you're not qualified. Like, not technically. Like, maybe you're thinking that you can the examination. Don't worry about it. Just apply. Don't lose the opportunity. Guys, don't lose the opportunity. You will regret it later on when you don't apply. As long as you're qualified, don't hesitate to apply. And take the opportunity, take this chance to have your scholarship in college. And that's it. I love you guys. Good luck on your exam.